quickly, friend. To understand where we are today, there's only one place to start. Cade Six. Cade Six was the Hunter Vanguard, a mentor to every hunter in the tower. He was an infamous daredevil, a dependable fire team member. and our dear friend. He never missed a chance to make light of the situation, even in dark times. Our responsibilities weighed on all of us. He tried his best to ease that burden. Cade's final mission was to prevent a breakout at the Prison of Elders in the Reef. Things didn't go as planned. Prison of Elders held some of the most dangerous foes ever encountered. With the security systems compromised, there was little to prevent them from ravaging all of Seoul. Petra Venge, right hand of the Awoken Queen, reached out to Cade and the Guardians for help getting things back under control. going in. Now, 
remember to purge the buffers. Sure, got it. One question? How do I do that? Press the red button. They're all red! Then press all of them. I can't believe that worked! I am amazing at this. Scratch that. It did not work. Extreme prejudice. Well, everything's where it's supposed to be, but now it's asking me for some kind of secondary activation. Should be a terminal you can use out on the catwalks. I'll cover you from here once I figure out how to turn the turrets on. By the way, you and me, good team. Let me get that door for you. Turrets have a manual mode. Interesting. Hey, buddy, what do you think of my new guns? You still with us, Petra? We're gonna clear you a path to Supermax real soon. Copy that. Oh, I could get used to this! for me. Bringing the security system online. You in the green now, PV? Yes, accessing the lower levels now. Just gotta check on a couple of things. And then we can call it a day. So long as you're the one buying. Looks like we're all done and dusted here, kiddos. Raman's on me. Looking pretty good down here. Just gotta check one last thing. prison riot. It's a prison break. The airlock on deck zero. It's the only way out this far down. They're going to escape. 
Not if I get there first. Spectacular landing. And cue the ominous music. Okay, everybody. Back in your cages. I said, back in your cages! That really all you got. Help me out here, little buddy. Petra? What's happening down there? Come in, Cade. Hey, welcome back. We fell at least 20 stories down, and I can't reach Cade. Or Petra. Cade? 
grenade must be further down. There's a hatch over there. This is awkward, I... Hey, you, you gotta go like a borrow. No. But I do have a bullet with your name on it. Oh. Any second now, my partner is gonna roll in here and kill every last one of you. And you, my man... This is going to hurt. A lot. Any last words? <coughs> How's your sister? To Aldrin, Cade was just an obstacle in his path. But to us, the loss of Cade was devastating. It shattered our fire team and left the last city in mourning. Aldrin met his fate, but that wasn't the end of his story. He was resurrected by a ghost named Glint, and, having no memory of his past, took on the name Crow. At first, the Vanguard tried to keep Crow in the dark about his past life and Aldrin's crimes. But Crow is not Aldrin. In time, we grew to understand that who someone chooses to be is more important than who they were. The arrival of the Black Fleet sparked great turmoil in the last city. Many of our people feared that a second collapse was imminent. The Witness took advantage of that fear. It promised power to all those worthy of it, in the form of stasis, setting off a race to Europa. We could never have imagined what awaited us on that frozen moon. We had always believed darkness itself to be inextricably linked with our enemy. Its power, a path to inevitable violence and grief. 
But there were those, like Elsie Bray, who understood that what we call darkness is a neutral force. Like the light, it could be a powerful tool for good in the right hands. If we were brave enough to question our beliefs. By communing with the crux of darkness, we could learn to wield the power of stasis. First, we had to fight our way into Reese Reborn, Aramis's stronghold on Europa. This pyramid granted darkness to the Guardians and the Fallen. It gives power to our enemies as easily as it gives power to us. I don't trust it. Darkness is a neutral force, but the pyramids have an agenda. Until we know what it is, we can't let our guard down. Aramis's presence on Europa is not happenstance. Temptation set the wheels in motion, but obsession propelled her here. To destroy the light with an army of darkness, she and her followers make those selfish choices moment to moment. Humanity relies on our selfless act to bring about a better world. Darkness is no more than a tool with which we do so.
Inside us all is the strength to control darkness. We need only look inward and remember why we're here. Armed with guidance and resolve, Guardians took up the power of stasis without succumbing to the Witness's corruption. Our understanding of the darkness expanded. Darkness is a part of our universe, a natural force. We wield it in defense of the last city. We challenged many of our assumptions in the days that followed, where once we saw only eternal foes. We discovered allies against a common threat. And amongst our closest friends, old enemies lay waiting. Hidden away in the last city, the Hive God Savathun prepared her greatest trick yet. Of the many enemies arrayed against the last city, few were more dangerous than Savathun, Hive God of Cunning. We dealt with her forces in the past, but her cruelest trick was infiltrating the vanguard itself in the guise of one of our own, the warlock Osiris. Her scheming led to something we once believed impossible, loosened Hive raised by ghosts, now wielded the light against us. Our only hope was to uncover just how Savathun had stolen the light. To do that, we would have to battle our way through her throne world, a realm of illusions and deceit. With the Witch Queen involved, nothing could be taken for granted. Our mission was to infiltrate the Throne World's Apothecary and retrieve a powerful relic. Using our mastery of darkness, we could see into the relic's past and uncover the Witch Queen's secrets. Eris, we're in position. Where are we headed? Your destination lies deep within the Fortress Guardian, in the Apothecary Wing. There you should find a particular shard of crystal. Before her loosened transformation, Savathun was in the custody of the Awoken, securely bound within a crystalline cell. Or so it seems. So this crystal is a piece of her former prison, which means it was likely on her when she stole the light. Eris said we have to seek out the aberrant paths. So what looks aberrant around here? How did you do that? It's like you created those platforms out of thin air. Eris, what's the situation? The Guardian is en route to the object in question now, Commander. Just as useful as the last one. Now we need to find a lock to smash open. The Witch Queen may have recast her realm in a loosened sheen, 
but remnants of dark architecture still lurk underneath. And the Guardian's new ability reveals these hidden remnants. Yes, Ikora explained. Why can't we use the light to achieve the same result? The light may be a powerful force, but when dealing in illusions, it has proven insufficient. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. Thus, only darkness can show the way. My only fear is where that way will lead us in the end. Alright, Guardian. Let's focus. To find the way forward, we need a sword and something to smash with it. very well be the clue we've been looking for. The crystal revealed to us what we had refused to imagine. The Traveler itself granted Savathun the light. It reached out to our greatest foe and offered grace. For many, this marked a time of great uncertainty. A betrayal. Facing the truth and coming to terms with our doubts strengthened the vanguard for the fight ahead. Whatever the Traveler's motivations, in the end, we had to rely on each other. Ironically, it was Savathun, Hive God of Deception, who revealed the true face of our common enemy, the voice in the darkness, and the architect of humanity's collapse, the Witness. Osiris's time under Savathun's thrall granted him a glimpse of a secret that she withheld from the Witness for centuries. A powerful artifact, known as the Veil, was hidden away on the planet Neptune. With Savathun off the board, the Witness would soon arrive to launch its assault against the Traveler. Armed with this vital secret, we now had a fighting chance.
Examining the past helps put the present into perspective. It reminds me how much all of us have accomplished already, and what we might achieve in the future. There's power in the stories we tell each other, as surely as there is in light and dark. Together, we can face anything. So remember, eyes up. Come back safe. Excuse me. My mind was somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>